Hey everyone, it's Micah Fragrance here, back at it again with another video. Uh, we hit 800 subscribers. It's insane to me. Again, I know I say it every single time. It's going to get old at some point. It's insane to me that we got here this quick, especially because I think it was, as of recording this, like a little over a week that I just hit 700 subscribers. So we're, grow or we're growing really fast. It's just insane to me. First thing I want to say, thank you all so much. Um, I really love doing YouTube. And the only reason why I love it is because you guys, as my community, as my viewers, as the people in my fragrance family, um, you guys make it enjoyable for me. I don't make money off YouTube. Obviously my goal, I want to get monetized so I can improve my setup so I can get more fragrances and especially so I can do giveaways and stuff for you guys. But you guys really make me believe that I can get monetized and a bunch of stuff. So thank you all for that. Um, of course, you got to plug Selective Sense. They're an awesome decant company. Um, they have a bunch of great summertime fragrances. I'm pretty sure they're sold out of a bunch of stuff as of recording this right now. But trust, when they get a bunch of stuff back in stock, they have some really good options. They have Parfums de Marley Greenly, LeBeau, Light Blue, O Intense. They got a bunch of good stuff. So if you guys are interested in checking them out, they'll be in the um button they're going to be in my bio their link is going to be in my bio and also in the description of this video so please if you guys are intrigued please check them out they're an awesome company as i said uh today what are we going to be reviewing for 800 subscribers we're going to be reviewing ysl myself now quick disclaimer this is not my bottle this is my brother's bottle he bought this but he told me if i wanted to i could review it so i figured why not just make this my 800 subscriber video so i want to show you guys the actual presentation real quick really nice um i watched a video on what why uh what myself means m is masculine ysl is ysl and f is feminine so i guess it's like a unisex fragrance at least i think that that's what they're trying to get out but myself is spelled m y s l f which is why kind of has a weird spelling but yeah, why I saw myself new release in 2023, I believe is when it came out. I do have the note breakdown here as always. It's going to be up here, but I'm going to read it from over here. Um, top notes, Calabrian, Bergamot and normal Bergamot middle notes of Tunisian orange blossom and base notes of Ambroxan and patchouli. That's all we need from that right now. So you kind of get the vibe. This is a very citrusy and floral heavy fragrance. Honestly, I thought it had like some lavender in here or something. Whenever my brother wears it, it leaves a really good scent trail. I'm going to be honest. It's not the strongest fragrance. Uh, it doesn't project the most. Longevity seems to be average about six to seven hours. But this stuff, I have to be honest, leaves a beautiful, beautiful scent trail. Um, I walked into the gas station with him. I don't know when he sprayed it on. He could have just sprayed it on to be fair. But I'm walking about three feet behind him, and I can just smell the beautiful central. This stuff honestly smells super good. When I first smelt it, I was not the biggest fan. It is a little expensive. This 2.5 ounce is like $125 retail, but I think it's really good. Um, and it's a great, versatile, everyday fragrance. You, I would honestly recommend you get this. I definitely am going to get my hands on a bottle at some point because this stuff is super good. But one thing I do want to discuss, you guys probably saw by the thumbnail, I, you know, I had the picture of this and it says something along the lines of the next Sauvage, you know, whatever. I obviously haven't made this thumbnail net. It's th oh, I obviously haven't made the thumbnail yet. That's what I'm planning on doing. Um, but I want to discuss it because this is a fragrance that almost reminds me of Dior Sauvage. It doesn't stand out by any means. Um, and I'm not saying they smell similar, but this fragrance doesn't really stand out by any means. It doesn't do anything super, you know, impressive. It wasn't revolutionary in something that it did with the scent, but it's a mass appealing, clean, decently strong fragrance that, like I just said, is very mass appealing. So it really much reminds me of Sauvage in that way of doesn't stand out, but is so mass appealing. And this is definitely going to be a fragrance that will be popular for a long time. Um, the stuff smells incredible, like I said. But it just doesn't do anything special. But does that mean that you shouldn't get it? No, definitely get it. This stuff is super good. Um, so that's my quick little review of why I sell myself. Let me know. Have you guys smelt this before? If so, what do you guys think of my review? What do you think of the actual fragrance itself? Um, fragrances aside, again, I want to say thank you all for 800 subscribers. It's insane we got here so fast. I couldn't do it without any of you guys. So I hope we all have a safe night. Thank you all for taking time out of your guys' day to watch my video. And I'll see you all in the next video. Be safe.